Hi guys. I hate starting a video. I never know how to do it. So I was thinking I've never just sat down and filmed like an everyday makeup look. I thought it would be nice just to do a more sort of quick everyday autumnal look. I'm hopefully going out for a bit of a Tinder date walk later. Um, yeah. Let's get into it. So at the moment, I guess just because of winter and I think also the air conditioning, air conditioning? Yeah, at my work, um, my skin's been really dry. So since like I've been applying moisturizer like multiple times since I've woken up this morning. And then because my skin's been really dry, I'm gonna use um, this primer. I don't really know if it's any good, but it's a NYX primer that it's supposed to be a moisturizing one. Oh, it's hydrating in the hopes that my skin won't dry out any further. Also, I thought it would be a good time to film this video because I just finished like sorting out my makeup collection. Let me show you. Okay, ignore the fingerprints because I realized that I need to um, seal these cupboards with wax because it was chalk paint. It was just these wooden shelves that I got from Amazon and I painted with this um, tealy colour chalk paint which is a little bit like my sewing machine. So yeah, I usually just take a bit from like the lid, it's like this jelly situation. Um, but I just take a bit, Ooh. put it everywhere. So I use the standard one that everyone uses. And I just tap this in with my finger. So because I've got quite dry skin at the moment, I won't, even though there's a lot of redness around my nose, I'm not gonna put any concealer on it just because with too much product on, it's just gonna like really look dry, basically. So next I'm gonna do my foundation. My favorite foundation is this Double Wear. Um, so I've got a couple different shades and I tend to mix depending on how pale I am at the time. I'll do mainly ivory with like a dash of desert beige. So yeah I just put a little bit of each desert beige on the bottom and then beige beige. What I just what I just do is I use the end of my highlighting brush because it's kind of pointy and I just mix that together. So if I've got a more sort of special occasion I probably would still use a beauty blender and do things a little bit differently, but this is just a quick, usually like a half hour, not even a half hour, like a, well yeah, I'd say like a half hour everyday sort of makeup routine. And so like applying with this brush, like it's probably not such a smooth finish, but it's just so quick. So yeah, I just um, apply this in kind of circular movements. And I do generally sort of carry it onto my ears a little bit, definitely down my neck. And then I've just got a tiny bit left, so I'll just take that down onto my neck. Next, I need powder. Just got this NYX loose powder. And again, I try to only aim it on places that aren't too dry that need setting. So I'll do like under eyes and lids. Um, 
and I try not to put any on my nose because that's just gonna make it look so cakey for me personally. Classic Hula bronzer, which is so worse for wear at this point. Um, I've had it for years though, and I've still like I've I've hit pan, but you know. Um, and I just use this. I don't know what brush this is. And just do the standard forehead. And yeah, this is the time where if I've gone a bit too pale with my foundation, I'll just add a bit more color. And yeah, I really like to carve out a bit of a jawline under here because I have a propensity to have a bit of a double chin, so let me just get rid of that. And it probably makes no difference, but when I've got like barely anything on my brush, I just touch the side of my nose. I'll blush. Um, I actually, again, use the same brush. Just use it for everything. I've really got my money's worth with this brush. <laughs> um, I've got another NYX blush in, I don't know what colour this is. Bitten? And I've been enjoying putting a lot of blush on recently. almost done with my base. I'm just going to add some of my fancy, look less fancy because it's dirty. <laughs> oh, there we go. My fancy over a doo -doo -doo. glazed donut, which is gorgeous. But I'm going to go like a really small amount just for a natural vibe. Yeah, so I go under the eyebrow. And I do this first because I always mess up my eyebrows if I try and put highlighter on after. Um, so yeah, I sort of, I know a lot of people do highlighter last, but I like to view it as my base. Put a little tiny bit on my nose. Next is eyebrows. I recently got this Maybelline tattoo brow, which is really good actually, and it comes with this brush, which has got like a spoolie and a brushy bit. Um, so I'll brush through my eyebrows to start. And then I don't use very much of this because I don't think too dark eyebrows suit me. So I just sort of darken them up a little bit. Yeah, that's probably dark enough for me. Other side. Next, I just brush them out with the spoolie again. And then I actually use a bar of clear soap, which is a look that my friend taught me. This is pretty good for setting eyebrows. So I just get the spoolie a little bit wet, and then it's probably a little bit too wet. And then rub it into the soap and just brush over. And get them to a good shape because I do have kind of long eyebrows, and because my hair's like a little bit wavy naturally, they have a tendency to just uh, rebel and like point in all directions. So this does just fix them in place. And I did used to use um, hairspray, but because I've got quite dry skin, that just made my skin really, really dry and like flaky around my eyebrows, which was 
not a look. Okay, eyebrows done and onto the eyes. I definitely want to go for like an autumnal look. My favourite palette is my Anastasia one, which is very worse for wear. Um, but this does have some lovely autumnal colours in it. So I think I'm just going to start with incense. Sorry, this palette is so messy. I think I dropped it. Um, we're going to start with incense, which is this one, because it's just a good transition shade. I'll just shove that in the crease. And these colours are so nice and pigmented. Like, it's an expensive palette, but it's a really good. I feel like it's a pretty good like starter palette even because it's got a good range and it's definitely a good travel palette because I love my Morph Morphe palettes but um they're massive. <laughs> Does it like that? No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go in with Passion, which is this dark bricky colour. I'm gonna do sort of like a halo eye. A bit of that colour passion in the crease as well to tie it together. Oh, that was a bit much. Oh well. Then I think I'm gonna take this rose gold that's like destroyed um, and just put that in the centre. Okay, I think because that is so dark, I'm gonna put a bit more passion in the corners. Same on the other side, I'm just going to darken it up because I know I'll need to do that. Right, then for the under eye, I don't know whether to put the glittery or the matte. Maybe I'll just start blending with what I've got on my brush, really. What I might do is take this really little brush, which I think needs cleaning. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's stained, but it's this little, um, Zogazil, I don't know what this brush is. Little brush, um, and I'm gonna go with the rose gold and just in the centre. And that towards the outer. Maybe a tiny bit more of the darker passion just on the outer. I might also just put a tiny bit of this lighter, like shimmery, dazzling colour just over top, like on the very centre of my lids, just to give it a little bit more pop. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't want to go any darker. Now I'm gonna probably cover up half of that with eyeliner. <laughs> My eyeliner is a little bit of a weird routine. I use this um, 
there was an Urban Decay liquid liner that like dried up a while ago, but the brush, yeah, the brush is quite good. Um, so I used that as a brush, and then I just used this um, water soluble face paint. Um, it's not the most long wearing thing, but as long as you're not like rubbing your eyes, it's fine. So often what I do, I've usually got like a bottle of water around and I'll just tip a little bit into the lid. Oh God, a bit too much into the lid. So I'll like dip that in water and then just get some of that and Honestly, like, I've had this for years and I've used it as like a heavy face paint and I've like not made a dent in it. Like this is such a money saver. And then yeah, I just paint it on like a normal. I've got quite headed eyes so I do the technique where you kind of paint when you're, with your eye open. So I'll start, I usually start just by getting a little bit of a shape with my eye closed. And then I'll just do the same with your eye as well. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't say in general I'm like amazing at makeup, but I do often get a lot of compliments on how sharp my eyeliner is, and I think it's just because I'm using face paint, and I guess I've done it. I've had a lot of years of practice, and I like painting as well, so that does help. Then what I do is I do, I know you're not supposed to, but I pull it out a little bit, and then. And that's probably a good one shake. Oh, see, the good thing about this, if, if you mess it up, it's really easy to just smudge off. So I keep my eyes like open. And draw it over. And it's not, it doesn't do it so much on this eye, but it creates a sort of like, um, see it's like not quite straight when my eyes closed, but it, um, but that's the shape it's meant to make. Um, I've actually gone for a very Amy Winehouse wing here, but fuck it. Amy <laughs> Winehouse is great. I have no issue with my eyeliner when I'm not filming it, and then I'm filming it and it goes a little bit. I'm gonna concentrate this time. That'll do. They're not perfect, but um, it ain't that deep now. It's time for mascara. So I always just curl my lashes first. Then I'm just gonna use this. What's it? Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is really waterproof, so I had to get another eye makeup remover to actually remove it. Um, and I think I'm gonna add a couple of individual eyelashes to the ends. Right, so I've got these <laughs> destroyed eyelashes that were from a shop called Savers in England. And I actually got these to do Trixie, but I'm never gonna use them because they're really extra. So I just cut them and do them as like individual lashes.
Okay, so I've just added some to the outer corners. Ooh, you can see. Ooh. I might stick a bit of um, mascara over the top to try and blend it together a bit. I also like to add just a little bit of highlighter to my inner corners. I might actually add a little bit more highlight as well. Lastly, it would just be lips and hair. First of all, I'll probably put on a little bit of lip balm because I will have dry lips. And then for lipstick, I usually like to just put a little bit towards the centre, but like a harsh line doesn't really suit me, so... Yeah, I'm happy with that makeup. Now for my hair. So I've got a little selection of hair accessories here. So this one's nice and on top of This one is too. And then I've got um, just like a scarf and a hair tie that's got a nice bit at the back. I think this one, because it's got the sort of coppery rose gold in it. So I think that's my finished autumnal sort of everyday basically makeup look. Thank you!